Hello friends, I am Shivaji Bhaskar, Faculty of Russian at the School of Foreign Languages, IGNU. I welcome you all to this course, Basics of Russian Communication Skills, Part 1. As you are already aware that in our previous modules, we have discussed about the Russian alphabet, vowel and consonants, and gender in Russian language with a few examples. We have also learned about the personal pronouns and possessive pronouns in Russian. We have also discussed about the fundamentals of agreement between noun and adjective endings in Russian. Now, since you have been introduced to the verb conjugations and interrogative words and expressions in Russian, like days of week, months of year, case system in Russian, etc., in a very detailed manner. Now, we will be discussing about many new concepts like the case system one by one. So, since you have already learned about the nominative case and prepositional case of Russian in an accurate manner with a few examples, now in this module we will be learning about the usage of nouns which we use to answer questions like akom and achom. Akom means about whom and achom means about what. So, these are two basic questions which we used in the prepositional case. Now further you will be introduced to few more new Russian words and expressions along with few new verbs as well. So I hope all of you are ready to explore the questions akom and achom in the prepositional case. Alright now let's go ahead and pay attention to this particular exercise where we will be using these two questions akom and achom. To simplify this let me tell you that when in Russian we talk about animate or inanimate we use two different kind of connotations. Animate we use kto which means who and shto means what. For example we have used the questions very simple questions like who is this and what is this. So we have used kto eta and shto eta. When we are saying so, eta, we can say eta moi brat, eta moi drug, eta anton, eta anna, etc. Like this is my friend, this is my brother, this is anton, and this is anna. Whereas when we ask question, sto eta, which means what is this, then we answer eta stol, eta stool, eta dwer, eta komnata. So these kind of questions we see when we say shto eta, what is this? So likewise, like in this module, we are going to talk about a kom about whom and a chom about what. So the questions a kom about whom and a chom about what relate to animate and inanimate objects respectively. So one fundamental is clear: a kom is for animate and a chom is for inanimate. So please pay attention to the exercise while we discuss it with you further. So I'll start with a comb on raskazivayat. A comb on raskazivayat. Here we can also pay attention to the intonation as the sound at the end, the pitch of the sound rises at the end. So we are asking a question. So it is an interrogative sentence. But the question is Akom about whom on Raskaziwet he is telling. On Raskaziwet a druge. On Raskaziwet a druge. He is talking about, he is telling about a friend. So when we use a, it means about. He is telling about friend. Druk changes into druge. So this is the construction of the Russian grammar in this particular case which is known as prepositional case. We have also learned in the previous modules about the usage of the question gijia which means where. There we have used the pradlogs or the preposition like v and na. V means in, na means at. However, in this case, when we have questions like a comb and a chum, whenever we put a, so if we have a word of masculine gender, 
at the end we include we add ye so in this case we have druge druge a druge now please pay attention to the next sentence achom ani gavareyat about what they are talking saying ani gavareyat anovam ruskam feel me they are talking about new russian film so here we have the adjectives novam ruskam filmya so the film the noun changes into filmya here again we have changed it into filmya we have added ye so you have also need to keep this in mind while converting the sentence while using o which means about however in both cases whenever it is akom or achom if the noun belongs to masculine gender it has the ending ye we add ye all right okay now let's go ahead and pay attention to this dialogue so that you can understand how do we use different settings different fundamentals different grammar patterns especially when we use a means about in russian so i'm going to start with the first line anton is asking natasha shivodnya ramesh sprashival achibye e tvaye sistre so anton is saying to natasha natasha shivodnya ramesh sprashival achibye e tvaye sistre natasha today ramesh asked about you and your sister so here please pay attention to the construction achibye so here in place of tu when we use a it changes into achibye and when we have in nominative case tvaya sestra it changes into when we use a a tvaye sestre about your sister so these are the basic endings in this particular case when we use o then uh, natasha natasha ashto sprashival natasha is saying and asking ashto on on means ramesh ashto on sprashival and what did he ask anton on sprashival gije jivyot tvaya sestra anton is saying on sprashival means ramesh asked where does your sister live so gije jivyot it is gije means where jivyot it is a conjugated form of rich for on ana gije jivyot tvaya sestra so where does your sister live natasha ashton sprashival ab minya so here please pay attention to the special construction when we use these personal pronouns ya is ab minya tu is achibye okay so natasha is saying ashto on sprashival ab minya what did ramesh ask about me anton on sprashival gije tu rabotash so anton anton is saying on sprashival ramesh asked where do you work so gije tu where do you rabotash is a conjugated form of rabotach in t form so gije tu rabotash where did you and where do you work so in this case you can also understand that while we using this particular case pradlosh nipadesh where we are using the o we are changing the personal pronouns we are also changing the structure when especially we are using gije 
and as well as you can see that we are conjugating the verbs as well. So now let's go ahead and understand the text further. Natasha. A ti nisprasila nyom. Natasha is saying a ti nisprasila nyom. And you did not ask about him. So here after a chibie, abamnye, we have the third expression a nyom. A nyom. About the person about him Anton ya uje znaju gdje on živjet i rabotaet then Anton is saying ya uje i already know ya uje znaju gdje on živjet i rabotaet where does he live and work so here you have found basically three very important concept when we have personal pronouns in this particular case so in place of ya, we say abominye, abominye, about myself, about me. Then when you have tui, and if you want to say about you, singular, then we use achibye. And when we say about him, about her, in that case for about him, initially we use anyom. And when we have about her, we say a nye. You will of course learn more about these constructions further. But please remember, a, ob and abo are variations of the same preposition a. Ab is used when following word starts with vowel. Okay, so in this case abetam because the word eta, eta. So abetam, abantonam. Okay, so like this, abo is used when following word has two initial consonants, abo minye. So in this case, minye, letter M and letter N are together. So that is why it has abo minye. So here, when we are talking about two basic questions, akom and achom, a noun requires the preposition o before it. So we have a very slight idea about how do we change it. In the previous dialogue, we have seen a few such nouns changing like a chom and a kom. So when he says a kom on gavrit, on gavrit a drugya. About whom he is talking? He is talking about friend. A chom on gavrit, about what he is talking? On gavrit a film. He is talking about a film. So this kind of construction, you have to be very careful that when we have certain subject, certain object and when to differentiate them as per the Russian grammar, whether it belongs to animate or inanimate. And only after that, you will be able to use the question a com or a cho. So while answering the question, a com or a chom, the nouns and their qualifying adjectives, they also undergo similar changes. For example, in the previous dialogue, we have seen a chom on gavrit. There was a construction, the sentence, the person says a chom on gavrit. About what he is saying or he is talking. So we have used a novum, ruskam, film. So the novi ruski film changes as per the requirement of the prepositional case a novum ruskam film so likewise you will see more such examples in this section so please pay attention and we would also like to recommend you to note down such important information aspects examples which we are discussing with you so that when you discuss it and practice with your family and friends you will find learning russian easy okay now let's pay attention to the exercise i'll start with the first one gdje on rabotait gdje means where on rabotait he works. Where does he 
वर्क ऑन रबोतेत ना बल्शोम ज वोध्य सो हेयर वी कैन वेरी इजीली सी दैट वी हैव अ प्रदलोग और प्रपोजिशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ना विच मींस एट सो ही वर्क्स वेयर एट बल्शोम ज वोध्य वी ऑलरेडी नो इफ वी वांट दिस टू बी नॉमिनेटिव केस देन बल्शोय ज वोध all right masculine gender so that is why the ending of the adjective balshoi e e krati balshoi o e krati ki in case of balshoi changes into om balshom and zavod changes into zavodya on rabotet na balshom zavodya all right now i hope this is clear to you now let's go to the next question A chom on raskazi vayd about what he is saying. On raskazi vayd a balshom zavode. So we have used the same example but in two different contexts. First question we have asked gije on rabotay. Whereas in the second question we have asked a chom about what. So where question number 1 question number 2 about what so achum on raskazi wait on raskazi wait a balshom za vode so we have replaced the predlog because we don't want the preposition when we have the question achum okay so we have changed it with o and then the remaining part of the sentence remains same balshom za vode so you can also practice with such clarity that when and where you need to use the preposition and where and when we used to need to insert or put o then if you look at the example you will find that in case of masculine gender the adjective and the noun changes like in this case okay now let's go ahead and pay attention to a few more examples gije on rabotai where does he work on rabotai na maling kai fabric ya so here we have changed the gender of the noun we have used the word fabrica and since it ends with a we already know the word which ends with a is a feminine gender word so accordingly the adjective would also be changing as per the requirement of the ending of the noun so fabrica if i want to say factory a small factory i would use malinkaya fabrica but since we are talking about the prepositional case we need to follow the rules of this case specifically in this case when we have a question gije on rabota so on rabota he works at na malinkai fabric he works at the small factory okay so please pay attention to the endings oi malinkoi malinkai fabrike so at end we have also used ye like in case of masculine gender we have used ye at the end so as we have used in this case as well when we are talking about the nouns ending but when we are talking about the adjectives ending it will change into o e krat ke whereas in case of let's go to the previous part here we have seen that when we have a masculine gender noun we have changed for example balshoy into balshom we have used om om whereas in this case let's go ahead whereas in this case if you pay attention the ending of malinkaya changes into malinkai ko e krat ki so you have to be very clear when we talk about genders in prepositional case how the ending of the noun how the ending of adjective changes so now let's pay attention to the third one gije ana jivyot where does she live gije ana jivyot where does she live 
она живет в новом общежитии. So here we have this word общежитие, общежитие, alright? Which gender общежитие? Of course, neuter. But in this case, the ending of the adjective as well as the noun they are changing as the masculine gender so here in this case please pay attention ana zhivyot novam opshe zhichi whereas in the second question achyom ana pishet about what she is writing ana pishet a novam opshe zhichi she is writing about new hostel so here opshe zhichi remains same Whereas you can also see the adjectives ending novum, novum, but the question in the first case we have used gijia, that is why we have used the preposition v. Whereas when we ask the question achom about what, we have used o. All right, so I think the concept is clear. To reinforce it further, please pay attention and to exercise. as many as times and use these kind of concept in your own sentences all right okay now let's go ahead and let's see some of the very important verbs we generally used in this case which is known as prepositional case or predloshni padyesh Okay so the first one is do much then raskazivat then sprashivat then gavarich then vaspnach so you already know some of them now let's learn the meaning of them one by one do much means to think raskazivat means to narrate or to tell something about prashivat to ask gavarich to speak vaspaminach to remember okay now let's see the conjugation of these verbs for example the first one do much ya do mayu ti do much on ana do mat mi do mam vi do maiche ani do mayut so think when we are using the verb to think let's use some sentences to all understand it clearly do much about whom and about what you can use in both cases do much on do much a druge on he do much he is thinking about a kon about a druge a druge he is thinking about friend he is thinking about friend now on do met a swaye simie he is thinking about his family a chum on do met about what he is thinking so here you can also replace it with animate or inanimate different type of nouns so that you can have a fair idea how to use this verb in different conjugation for example in place of on we can use achom mi do mai about what are we thinking so we can use mi do mai ab uroke ab uroke so we are not saying a uroke we are saying ab uroke ob why and when do we use ob when we have the first vowel any word which starts with vowel we use ob aburoke achom vidumaiche about what about what are you thinking so you can use ya we the answer can be ya dumayu a zanyachi So I am thinking about the class, Zaniyachi. 
So when we have the nominative case, we have zanyatsiya. But in this case, we are changing into this case. So a zanyatsi, like you have done ab abshijiya, because it is also starting with vowel. So ab abshijiya. For example, you have many other verbs raskaziwaj. So you can also conjugate it like ya raskaziwayu, ti raskaziwaj, on ana raskaziwayt. Mui raskaziwayam, vi raskaziwayche, ani raskaziwayu. And sprashivayu, you can also conjugate. Ya sprashivayu, ti sprashivayesh, on ana sprashivayat, mui sprashivayam, ti sprashivayesh. And we can also, you know, uh, repeat it again. Ya sprashivayu, ti sprashivayesh, on ana sprashivayat, mui sprashivayam, vi sprashivayche. Ani sprashivayut. Likewise, you can also conjugate gavrich. Ya gavriu, te gavrish, on ana gavrit, mui gavrim, vi gavriche, ani gavriat. And vaspaminach, ya vaspinayu, te vaspinayish, on vaspinayet, mui vaspinayim, vi vaspinayche, ani vaspinayut. So, for example, in this case, achum. Tui was pipnaish. About what? Or simply you can also use these different kind of verbs where you can say ya dumayu a jetstve. Jetstva means childhood. So I am thinking about childhood. Ya dumayu a jetstve. A mayom jetstve. Ya raskazivayu a sayi simi. Ya sprashivayu a druge. Ya gavariu a filme. Ya vasminayu. And further, you can also have a very good number of verbs in Russian where we use them in especially this prepositional case so that you can have a clarity where and when to use different kind of verbs so that you can use both the questions a kom and a chom. But since we have talked about that whenever you are using a comb and a chum, the most important thing is that the verb should belong to animate or inanimate. So there should not be any confusion among the learners that the noun which you are going to use in this specific construction belongs to you know animate or inanimate. So be very wise while using the noun and then construct the question and answer accordingly however we also would like to suggest you to pay attention to the adjective endings as you have already seen in that case we were saying that achom on gavrit on gavrit novam ruskam film yeah you can also change it to feminine gender achom on gavrit on gavrit a nova auditore so in place of masculine gender noun we have changed into auditoria which is a feminine gender noun and likewise you can use some of them or all of them in different style in different sentences okay all right now let's go ahead and pay attention to some of the questions and we will see that how do we use both the construction a comb and a chom in order to have a clear understanding. So here we have the question Akom Raskazi Vait Brak. So here we have seen the meaning of the verb Raskazivach means to narrate. Akom about whom brother is narrating. Brat Raskazi Vait Adruge. He is narrating, he is talking about a friend, Drug. Achom do my sister about what sister is thinking sister do my ob institute so here sister is thinking about the institute and you can see the construction ob institute and when we are pronouncing it we are pronouncing it without any pause as if it is a complete one word but it's not however it is just a style how do we speak russian so Sestra, do my ab institute. 
सो प्लीज रिमेंबर ये इज एडेड एट दी एंड इफ द मैस्कुल नाउन एंड इन अ हार्ड कॉन्सोनेंट सो वेन एवर इट इज एंडिंग इन गे इन ते लाइक इन केस ऑफ द्रुग इंस्टीट्यूट सो वी आर चेंजिंग इन टू द्रुग ये इंस्टीट्यूट एंड पुटिंग द ओ और अब एज पर द रूल्स ऑफ द रशन ग्रामर ऑल राइट आई होप द कंसेप्ट इज एब्सल्यूटली क्लियर टू यू ऑल नाउ नाउ वी विल शैल डिस्कस अबाउट a few more such important concepts of russian which we specifically use in the prepositional case all right now let's go ahead so in this module you have seen with a few examples we discussed about two basic questions which we use in prepositional case is a kom and a chom and since it comes from to and sto which we already know means animate and inanimate means who and what so when we talk about prepositional case we have a question gije but at the same time we use this construction in order to say about whom and about what so in the initial you have seen a dialogue between natasha and anton where they are talking about we have seen the personal pronouns being changed for example ab mne about me achibe about you anyom about him anye about her and accordingly we have anas about us avas about you plural and anik about they so you need to remember all these aspects as well as we have talked about when do we use a when do we use ob and when do we use ab so a we normally use when the next word is not starting with a vowel but when the next word is starting with a vowel we use ab 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 so ob plus d vowel for example ab antonia ab antonia we have used ob whereas ab we use especially when we have any word which has two consonants together for example ab mnie ab mnie so in this case you can see that how do we use a ob and ab mnie all right now we have also talked about many other constructions of sentences where we have seen the changing of the adjective endings for example achoman dumait or we can say achoman gavrit about what he is saying on gavrit a balshom novam zavode big new plant he is saying and then you can also have a new construction a kom on gavrit on gavrit a swaye sistre so here we have seen that the construction of swaya changes into swaye sistre and as well as we have seen that how do we change various other endings of the noun we have very simple concept that noun ending if it is hard simply we put ye at the end all right so in case of feminine gender we also put ye at the end but the adjective endings is absolutely different in case of adjective ending it is o m om whereas in the case of feminine gender is o e krat ki so you have to be very clear about it we shall be discussing more about this concept in our upcoming modules i hope you enjoyed this module thank you